Hi, so, I don't know if you heard, but they give awards to games. <laughs> isn't, isn't that funny? I mean, you know, yeah. Video games don't deserve awards. They're a children's toy. They're, they're a really good children's toy, but they're a children's toy. I'm gonna attempt to get this right. I, I, I feel like my predictions are spot on. Like, at least a, 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 a few of the time. I mean, you know, I'm just gonna give my opinion on this, on the picks and whatnot, but uh, I am gonna try and genuinely give this as, as non-biased a pick as I can for what I think's gonna win. Coming from someone who has definitely, absolutely played through all of these games, you know me, I'm all over the games of the world. PS5, Xbox, Switch, Wii U. PC, Epic Games, it's just all of them that I do. You know, let's just start off a little bit uh, big. So, okay, it says I voted for some- I don't know what the hell I voted for, but ignore that. Game of the year. So this is the best game that has come out this year. You know, the, the true triumph. <sighs> you know, I so many great games here. I said, I said before, I've definitely played these. I wouldn't lie to you. I never lie. So what's actually gonna win here? Um, not this. It's Xenoblade Chronicles 3. I just, I, I just can't see a scenario where this actually gets game of the year over any of this, not because I think it's bad. Yeah, I, I've played them, like I've said, I've definitely played them, but not because I just don't think that people would pick it. Apparently it is very good. Hmm, I feel like that might apply to all of these. This, I don't, I don't know if this is really gonna win. I don't, I don't think it will. The same reason as Xenoblade Chronicles 3, it just seems like a weird pick. A Plague Tale Requiem, I don't, look at these idiots, they're, they're staring at me, I don't, I don't like that. Why, why would you vote for this? Why would you vote for this? I think the actual huge, coveted, massive Game of the Year award, it's probably just gonna go to one of these two. Have very, very high scores. They're probably the most popular games here too. If I had to say, I think Elden Ring is, I mean, it's probably the most likely one here. You know, uh, coming from someone who has played both of these, I think that this one probably uh, has more influence or some, something. I don't know. <laughs> what do I want to win Game of the Year? Stray? Um, I just feel like if Stray won, everyone would get so pissed. It would be hilarious. Uh, it takes two. One last year. I mean, that came on. Yeah, that was that was a an indie game that was published by EA. So it wasn't really an indie game, but it was still nice to see. So yeah, no, you know what? You, uh, from from all of these, you know, the game of the year, I really feel like Cher deserves it. Best game direction. I don't know what the hell that means. I I've, I don't know what the hell this is. I mean, not I, I've played it. I mean, uh, I've completed it on Steam. Elden Ring, God of War, Ragnarok. Horizon Stray. Huh. My, um, I get the feeling these guys were in the, um, lost, uh, category. What? Were these the only games that released this year? You know, I, I actually, I can't remember any of the games that released this year besides Plague Tale Requiem that also released this year. And what do I think is gonna win best game direction? Um, not this. Just don't think it will win anything. The Game Awards is kind of a weird thing, but I feel like they kind of they kind of do just go for the um, very easy picks. So Elden Ring and God of if these two were in a category, my prediction is that one of these will win. Uh, I don't think even the Game Awards people know or remember this game being here. I think when the actual broadcast starts, this will probably just be blacked out. Stray again. I feel the best game direction, it could be either one of these three. Simply because the idea of a cat in a cyberpunk world, that's, I mean, that's cool. It's original. It's it's something you haven't really seen before. I haven't played the game. I, oh, no, I mean, I have played the game, but, you know, in a hypothetical sense, if I hadn't played the game, I think the gameplay trailers look cool. I would also, again, I, I would like Stray to win, just, just because it's the underdog here. It would just be nice to see a cat, fuzzy little cat, win against a... Uh, I think her name's Link. Best narrative, <laughs> you know, the story, the deep, the moving. Yeah, I, I, I know all the stories. I remember in this one, a rat comes out and they freak out. It's really scary. But you know, I'll admit, I'll admit, I I, I skipped a, a few cutscenes or like, you know, a few. Yeah, I, I, I've let you down. You know, it's true. It's true. Give me, give me five seconds, people. I, I, I won't let you down. Okay, okay. Come here, right. head. Right, right, okay. Sure. Okay, right, okay. Come on, what the it's just the sun. 
Something is Look, something is. I don't know, but where, where 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 is that coming from? Whoa, it's. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. You know what? Yeah, yeah. That that gave me a, a good idea of what's going. I think. You know, the next category, strong narrative. Uh, the subtitles blew me away. Best art direction. Ooh, okay, right, right, right. Art direction is something that's very, very understated when it comes to games. You know, just, just in general. Let's like look at Elden Ring. You've got a guy with a sword in the ground, and there's so much clouds everywhere. And then you look above him. There's these. The Elden Rings are above him. These insane, flamey. It's so it immediately grabs your eyes. It's very, very, very reflective of, of, our, of our society, you know, with how with how grey is. But there's a bit of life deep inside. Elden Ring has my pick so far. Now let's look at God of War, Ragnarok. You have Kratos and Atreus. These two really represent a lot of what is wrong with gaming because you know when you look at art direction you don't want to just see a guy in front of an image i don't really see the point of this it's just you know i mean the background is cool it's very icy and white it's 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 nice it, it highlights the two very well because they're very clearly people who have gone away from where they were from and they're here now but you know again it, it, it's nothing special there's no deepness about this they're just standing in front Scorn, I think this is a really, really close bit. Just look at this man. Look at this decrepit man who's who's got veins all around him. And you know, the, the cool thing about Scorn, I feel, is that you don't know if this man is wooden or veiny because he has, you know, like when, when you're uh, like school, a really old crappy door. There were those doors that had flakes of wood, kind of just, um, you know, uh, flaking off. It, it, he reminds me of those doors. Uh, I have to be, I have to be honest, but it very much feels feels like he's just surrounded by veins. I think it's out of all of these, uh, Scorn deserves to win. In my opinion, I predict it's just gonna go to Elden Ring, but I feel like Scorn would genuinely deserve that award the most here. Good look at this little geek. <laughs> look at the cat. Oh my God, he's so, oh, he's so soft. Not, not, not the best cat I've seen in the game though, to be honest. So, you know, still under Scorn and Elden Ring, but look at him, he's so cute. It's just a really cute cat, I, I love it. I think that was the Cat Association. Oh, okay, all right, okay, no, no, no. No, this, this, the, the most upsetting thing in this whole game. I actually prepared a, a few things I wanna say about this in my mind. I get that score in music is subjective. It's more that, okay, I'm just gonna flat out say Sonic Frontiers deserves to be here. It's criminal how the game was just completely snubbed here. You know, I'll, I'll drop the act, I'll drop the mask. Yeah, I have not played any of these games. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably somewhat biased in that aspect. I decided to genuinely take a look at the soundtracks of all these games. Metal Hellsinger, I feel like that game absolutely deserves to win this outright from what's here. Xenoblade, I've, I've played about a third of Xenoblade 1. It's got amazing music. I listened to this game soundtracks when it came out. It's so good. I'm not really bothered by having a nomination here so those two are fine it, it's 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 these three that i i cannot understand being here it's I, I listen to the soundtracks they're good i think they're very atmospheric and they fit the gameplay these games are in every category they're in best clothes category it's 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 ridiculous how much they've been loaded up sonic frontier soundtrack isn't just the fact that the songs are really really good the production is so out there it's so different it stands out from so many game soundtracks and it dips its toes in variety quite a lot yeah you have the island themes and those are very somber piano melodies i'm just gonna say it sounds like pakistan you know Ares island it's but it's it's still great music. You don't just have that, you have the boss music that is very droning and electronic and it pumps it up. You have cyberspace songs that go from 2012 Skrillex B-side to straight up trance hypnotic music to far out guitarists, straight up rock. You have EDM 
you have electronica yeah I, I can't even begin to co uh, cover all the bases that cyberspace covers let's not even talking about the boss themes undefeatable find your flame some of the other vocal themes like dear father it's such an impressive soundtrack it's so good that i, I think it, it, i have a bit of recency bias in this area but i i think frontier soundtrack may just be one of the best sonic soundtracks to me period i'm sure that these three plague tale elden ring god of war i'm sure that those have good soundtracks i'm not doubting that i just feel like these three in particular they don't stand out very much when compared to so many other orchestral soundtracks that have released over the years, especially when they're next to each other. One of these easily could have been replaced by Sonic Frontiers. I don't feel like most people would have been clamoring to say Plague Tale was snubbed here, Elden Ring was snubbed here, God of War was snubbed here, because they've been represented in so many categories. It genuinely does not make sense to me that Sonic Frontiers was excluded here. And e even just going by fan responses, even just going by non-Sonic fan base responses, I'm thinking about all the reviews of the game that have <laughs> given it mediocre scores, but still pointed out that the music is amazing. I'm gonna, I'm just, I, I, I could go on for this about for too long. I'm gonna shut up about the music category. Frontiers deserves to be here. And you know what? I've been playing Sonic Frontiers music this whole time. I bet you didn't even notice it. You, I Maybe I have like uploaded 18 videos about Sonic so far, but that, that doesn't mean I'm biased, guys. Uh, trust me. Best audio design, in-game audio and sound design. You, you know what? As uh, 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 someone who has, I assure you, played all of these games. I, I don't know. You know, this is like... <laughs> Shooing. I mean, it sounds like realistic shooing. Elden Ring. Yeah, you know those those uh, the rings. One of the rings vibrate, and they're very elderly. I, th I get I get chills, and when God of War Ragnarok's, you know, when Kratos, when Kratos moans and groans when he's throwing an axe or Ragnaroking all over the enemies, and Atreus fires a bow. I think it's really it, it really sets you into the game. The fully artists of all these games have done such a good job. Gran Turismo Seven is cars though. I, I, I think Gran Turismo 7 kind of deserves a win here. What do I think is going to win? It, it could be any one of these. That's how I feel about most of this. If, if these two are in any category, it's just going to be one of these two. I, I don't think, I'm pretty sure even the Game Awards committee is just doing a coin flip whenever these two show up in a category. Best performance. Hmm. You know, when these people all started talking, I cried a bit. I especially cried when Christopher Judge started talking because, I don't know, he just has such a charming face. I really like it. It's just great. I mean, it's just great you didn't hear that. Man and Gage. I don't know who this is. You know what? No, he, he he definitely, I hope he does not win. His face is way too close. I do not like it. You're, you're generally, you know, you're, you're not a bad looking person. Just step away. Who do I think is going to win? God of War is here, right? It's probably going to be one of the God of War ones. Who do I want to win? Uh, I mean, you know me, uh, Cher is a, a good pick here, I think. Okay, games for impact. Um, why isn't God of War here and why isn't Elden Ring here? I think they made a mistake. It could be any one of these. I, uh, you know, using my magic spells in my mind. Who do I want to win? Huh. I'll admit, I have not played these games. I don't play terrible indie games. I put no effort in them. I only play the best of the best, like God of War and Elden Ring. Uh, hindsight, I, that, is, that is a very cool cover. I think it's quite... Yeah, all right. I, I want Hindsight to win. I, I've decided... I know, that, I know that's a controversial opinion, but it's just how I feel. Oh, I've, I've played some of these. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, you know, I actually got quite a bit into Apex Legends earlier this year. It's it's still really fun, even after a few years. Fortnite added Goku. Best independent game, you know, the, the lower guys, the independent guys, the guys who don't really get nearly as much recognition. I've seen gameplay from all these quite a lot. Yeah, I have Tunic on my list because it seems like a really nice Zelda-inspired game. Neon White, I saw so much about that game earlier this year. It's, it's very fast-paced. Sifu is that fighting game where you punch people. It's definitely a fighting game, by the way, you know? So, kind of like Street Fighter or Tekken or even you know, King of Fighters. Uh, Stray is gonna win this. That's why I predict is gonna. They're gonna go up on that stage, and then a cat is gonna come out. It's gonna take his award. I mean, it'd be, it'd be, it, I think it would just be a bit weird if any of these won over Stray. Stray has been nominated in so many categories that I don't see winning. But this is probably the one where it has the least competition. Not in terms of quality. It's like the most recognizable game here. I wouldn't mind to see Tunic winning. It's just it, from what I've seen, it's a very cute game. I, I like its art style. But you know, I, 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 I'm too busy. You know, I'm too busy 
busy playing games like Angry Birds and Half-Life 2. It's just, you know, it's, 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 it's a busy, it's a busy ecosystem. Best mobile game. Wow. What the hell is this? I've never, I've never in my life heard of Tower of Phantom. It's, it's like the type of thing you see when, when you t turn off U block or I block. I don't think this is gonna win. Call me crazy, but I just, I've never heard anything about it. But you know, it's a mobile game, so it could probably have like 2 billion downloads. Seriously, if this wins, uh, people are gonna be very, very, very peeved. Nothing, no consequences will come if they win this, but people will be peeved and that is not something you mess with. I mean, I, you know, you know what? I've played a lot of Apex Legends. I, I think of all of these, this is probably the, my personal pick. I feel like Genshin Impact is just gonna win this for some- I don't know why that's here. Not even because I hear it. I've never played it. I just know it's inspired by Breath of the Wild. I swear this game has been a thing for years. Why is it in the 2022 awards? Am I crazy? Or did it just get a full release late last year? I feel like that's the most likely thing. Best community support. You know what? Fortnite added Goku. Innovation and accessibility. Just gotta go off of what I've heard. I've seen that God of War actually does add a, quite a lot of uh, cool feet. I, I'm trying to not look at anything while I'm doing this video, you know, just to um, have a fresh take on all these games that I've definitely played. I, I've never heard of the quarry. I've never heard of Last of Us Part One either. I, I've heard of Last of Us on PS3, but I don't know what the hell this is. I, yeah, I, I, I don't want this to win. Simply because it's a remake that doesn't exist. Doesn't need to exist. What do I want to win? I, it could be either one of these. I don't know anything about this, but you know, they're, they're, they're really realistic and that creeps me out. So I kind of hope it doesn't win. Um, all right. Oh, I haven't actually played these games. I don't have a VR. You know, I get the feeling that Among Us, the huge worldwide sensation that's somehow still relevant in meme culture. I feel, I feel like that probably has a good chance of winning this. I don't know. I want this to win. It's Among Us VR. That's such a cool idea. And that one video of that kid screaming. Yeah, you know, that, that, I think that's enough. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's enough for me to want this to win. Among Us VR. Oh, look at this little red man. I love the Among Us. Guys, it's the best possible character design you can have. Akira Toriyama wishes he was this good. Best at best action game. I've played Bayonetta one and two. I, I I've been planning on getting three. You know, if Bayonetta three wins when it does, uh, Hel Helena Taylor will implode. I can guarantee she will implode into a million little pieces. Call of Duty. Why is Call of Duty in best action game? Like yeah, okay, there is action that goes on. If, if Call of Duty is action, why is Kirby not action? Why is Mario and Rabbids not action? Overwatch two not action. I don't even like Overwatch two. It's like when people think of Call of Duty, do they think of juggling combos like like it's like it's Nero? The closest thing to combat I can think of in Call of Duty, the weapons that you can sometimes wield, or like knives. I, I think the same principle might apply to Neon White because I've seen gameplay of it and it just seems like a shooter. I feel like that game probably has a little bit more combat to it than just shooting. And as someone who has played all of these and every game that was released this year, I don't I don't know what could re replace Call of Duty. But if the line at combat is drawn at shooting people, I feel like that's there's, there's, there's probably a few other picks. It's just a dumb pick. It's it's dumb. It's dumb. I'm not voting for that. I'm voting for teenage. I like turtles so much. Best action adventure. We should where is Call of Duty? Call of Duty should be here. I would I did not expect to see Tunic here. God of War is in this category. Uh, yeah, as we all know. So God of War is winning. <laughs> like I've played a few hours of the first game that released in 2018. I feel like that's probably what it excels best at. Now, I want either of these two if they won, it, it would be good. They're the underdogs, but Tunic especially is just it looks so cool. That's that's what I'm going off of. It looks really nice and cool. It's not gonna win this, but it's nice. Best role playing. Oh, 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 oh my god! Uh, there's there's a game that I've actually played here. Pokemon Legends Arceus. I I absolutely loved it. It's like it is one of the best Pokemon games I've played. It has the thing is it has flaws. The core experience and the best parts of Pokemon Arceus was so good that it it, it was really easy for me to ignore those flaws. Shook up the Pokemon formula extremely well. If there is anything in this whole Game Awards category that I really want, I think that would that would please me. I I mean I'd, I'd be pretty happy about that. This game is kind. 
kind of cool. I played the uh, demo of it on the eShop when it was available and it came out. I actually enjoyed it quite a lot. I don't think it's gonna be Elden Ring, but it's a cool game. Live a life. This is the remake of the SNES game, isn't it? It's, you know what, at least it got nominated. It's not gonna win, but it's nice that they at least nominated this. Uh, they have McCree from Overwatch here. Just for whatever reason, I, I, you know what? They should take this down. They're gonna get sued. Uh, Elden Ring is here, so that, I mean, that's my take on that. Okay, right, fighting games. You know, a little punch, punch, and Hadouken. There's no, I mean, there's no Street Fighter here. I should, I should mention that there, there is no Street Fighter here, but there is JoJo. So I don't know if you've noticed, but there is one game here that um kind of stands out, which is obviously Multiversus because it was developed in a, a Western studio. These three are, are Japanese games. You know, many fighting games come from Japan. And also Sifu is here. Why is it here? I haven't even played it and I know it's not a fight. Like, you know, it's, it looks cool. It looks really robust and, and satisfying to punch people in that game, but it's 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 not a it's not a fighting game. It's it's just no, if, if the principle of fighting game is just punch people, why Yakuza could be here. In a situation where you can choose two people, you can actually choose the characters that you want to play as. The actual gameplay has to be set on a stage. You know, the main gameplay. I, mean, I don't mean that it has to include a story mode, like, I don't know, Subspace Emissary. And it has to feature characters where if you hit them enough, they go down. Maybe even come back. You know, in a second round or on a, another life. Sifu should not be here. You know, if the, if the no, no, if the choice is for best fighting, have Sifu here or have four nominations, delete the whole category. Okay, all right, yeah, no, this is another thing. With the Game Awards, for years, they just they just stick Nintendo into best family, and I don't get it. I really don't. You know, as someone who has absolutely, totally played these games, I don't know why people are saying that I have not played these games. What, like, Switch spots? Was that really better than Mario Strikers? I, you know, the Game Awards does not think Mario Strikers was good enough to be here. It's, I think it's, I still think it's hilarious how in the last Game Awards, It Takes Two was the only other non-Nintendo game in Best Family. It still won. Nintendo, Nintendo lost their own category. Now, I, I I have played the demo of Cubby, and you know, it's just that you should look at that, yeah, then that's my video, I did it. It's like at the top of my list when it comes to playing more Switch games. Yeah, you know, at the moment, I uh, I kind of have my hands full. Uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, and I'm also playing through some of the Mega Man games. If there's any game here that seemingly, from the outside looking in, I think deserves it, it's, it's probably gonna be this. Not because these seem bad, I've played Mario Rabbids 1, it was great, apparently this is better. If if any of these won, I'd be happy, unless it's Nintendo Switch spots. I mean, okay, this does seem like a fine game. It doesn't seem like that much of an original game because it's just based on real spots. Splatoon, Mario Rabbit's Lego Star Wars, Coming the Forgotten Land, those just seem like much less bland games. I feel like Lego Star Wars is probably going to take it. Some of the details in this that I've seen on online is it's great. Strategy, you know, thinking about the next step, taking very, very careful footsteps around what you do. You know, it's 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 a good chance for it to just be Total War. Warhammer 3 played Mario and Rabbids 1. Uh, apparently this, this is just more of the same with a better story. So, I mean, if there's any game that I would want to win, it's probably this because it's the only one I have some idea of how it plays. Best sports racing. Oh, okay. It is the World Cup right now. I feel like inherently the probably just gonna give it to FIFA, as we all know FIFA is a very ethical uh, company, so FIFA definitely deserves this. Yeah, it, it definitely does. Uh, no one is no one is forcing me to say this, they definitely deserve it. Now, Oli Oli World, look at how cool this little kid looks, and then you got a guy in the back, you got another guy here sitting next to a different guy, and this is the creatures and the pipe, so it deserves to win. Oh, this is what I put my vote into, okay. Yeah, I was wondering what I did, I don't know why. Yeah, okay, I think I came to my own conclusion about this before. Overwatch 2, I have crossed my fingers in real life, pinky sweared myself, and I am hoping Overwatch 2 does not win. I have I have a lot of love for Overwatch 1. <laughs> Overwatch 2, blocking people off from playing Overwatch 1, making heroes a battle pass locked, it should not be rewarded. The grimy things they did with this game, it's just gross. I am fine with any of these winning. M maybe not this because it's just a... 
you know. I don't know, I mean, I haven't played Splatoon 3, so I don't know why I voted for it before. Probably because I'm a biased Nintendo shill. Content creator of the year. It's gotta be either one of these two. I love Nobelian. This guy, any anyone who uses Twitter for anything, he, he, he just gives so much great gaming news in such a, a straightforward way. It was, this guy was how I found out about most of the things happening. I would love it if this guy won. We, we don't even know what he looks like. He wouldn't be able to come up and accept the award, would he? He's just been nominated, but I think the nomination is ge genuinely a really nice gesture on behalf of the Game Awards. You know, I recognize that he was a, a cool guy. Best debut indie. The first one, you know, the, the debut game, the, the, the beginning of a career. I haven't played any of these. Oh, okay. Best adaptation. I've actually seen a few of these. Wow, you know, you know what? I am unbiased. Very, very unbiased in this regard. And you know me, I, I, I like things of all things. I look at all the flaws of anything. Sonic deserves this. It'd be, it'd be really cool. It would be really cool if this won. The Cuphead show is really funny too, though. If any of these won, except Uncharted. I love Uncharted. I've played all the games. I played them when it, I played Fall when it came out as well. It's it's great. From from these five choices, it's like the most easy thing to make a movie out of. If you took the Uncharted out of this, you, you would just be left with a, an exploration movie. Uh, Sonic 2 uses so much of what makes Sonic Sonic, the Master Emerald and stuff. And, and same with Cuphead. I have not seen Cyberpunk or Arcane. Th this is just going off of what I've seen online. Those two add to those games universes. Like, they take what's going on in the actual story and they build off of it. Uncharted just seems like a generic movie. The cast picks for these two was not good either. It, it, yeah, when I, when I see him, I don't see Nathan Drake. I see Tom Holland. I don't see Sully. I see Mark Wahlberg, the guy who punched it. I'm not much of a fan of fantasy Hogwarts or Resident Evil fan. Zelda is probably gonna win. Breath of the Wild was one of the biggest games uh, of the past decade. It, it, you know, it's Breath of the Wild. The hype for Zelda in general, you know, it just, it, it feels bigger than the overall hype that I'm seeing for any of these, especially Starfield, God, Starfield. It, I, I was excited for it, you know, I, I've enjoyed a good few Bethesda games in the past, but they're fun, they're, they're games that you can just get lost in for hours. Starfield just looks bland, it just looks so boring to play, the gunplay was not exciting, they're doing it procedurally generated. It, it, yeah, it could be something you could get lost in for hours. It could be a really good game. I, I do not think Starfield really is gonna get this. So what do I want to win? Zelda, what do I think is gonna win? Again, yeah, no. <laughs> Zelda, I mean, I just don't think any of these other four really um, compare to the hype that's going around for Zelda at the moment. To see how Nintendo has picked up the pieces, continuing the story, and is gonna build on what this game did wrong. Game Awards, man, the Game Awards. I, I, I love games, I love awards. It's just, it's a great combination. You know, it's just your yeah, best eSports app. Yeah, let's go, I just, yeah, no, you, we got. I've been shopping around for a retro tink uh, lately. Either a retro tink or some kind of thing that can uh, help me record. Well, not record, it's it's more that, yeah, I really wanna play. I have a SNES console I don't use. I, I, have, a, I have a Nintendo 64 console I don't use. Hell, I, I even wanna buy some new consoles, like the PS1.